Hi guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a dynamic column in BI. So what I mean by that is I have a slicer over here. So if I click on sales, I want my sales value appearing on this particular table. And if I click on profit, I want the profits to be appearing here. So if you can see here, accessories is 57,609. That's my profit value. And that is exactly what I have here. So if I click on sales, my sales is to 27,000, which is exactly what is appearing here. And likewise, I have something for profit as well. So how, how do you achieve this dynamically using a slicer in BI? So guys, before I start this tutorial, uh, I request everybody who's enjoying my videos, who are learning new, watching my tutorials to please like the videos that I am publishing on my channel. Also drop in comments to let me know what you guys are learning and how I can improve videos on my channel. And because this will also help me reach out to a lot of other viewers who are trying to learn Power BI through YouTube tutorials. So let's start this tutorial now. So the first thing that I will be doing here is let me add a new tab so that I'm starting from scratch here. Okay. And the first thing after adding a new tab is that you need to enter the data here uh, on the home tab click on enter data and create a new table this is basically the table is going to be uh, used as a slicer the values that you have here are going to appear in the slicer that we have so for example sales okay the second one is profit and third one is profit percentage profit percentage okay i'm gonna call this as slicer value okay i'm gonna click on load so we have a new table that is created called as slicer okay you will see a new table is created called as slicer value let's quickly bring this in a slicer so instead of using the traditional slicer i would like to use tree map as a slicer so when you click on tree map and you have slicer value here in the group you will not see anything here one small change that you will have to make is go back here click on new measure and say measure equals to one and simply click on this particular measure here so that it gets added to the value field here and you will see a new measure has been created and you can realign this based on your requirement so i'm gonna quickly go here turn off my title over here so you can just redesign this however you would want to have okay let's leave it like this for now and let's bring in a subcategory. So this is my subcategory. Let's bring in total sales, total profit and margin as well into this particular table for us to back test. So I'm going to quickly go here to my uh, format visual and change the formatting of this particular table so that it looks nice and neat. Okay. So this is what I like. So let's quickly do this and now uh, I'm going to create a new measure, which is going to be the dynamic measure, which will help us in creating a new column, which will filter or change based on whatever value that we select from this particular slicer. Okay. Let's call this as dynamic or just call this as value is equals to. So here I'm going to be using the selected value filter. Okay. So what this will, what this will do is, so it's called selected value. Open this. It's asking us to enter the column name. The column name here is going to be from the slicer that we selected, which is exactly over here. So slicer and slicer value. Okay. Comma alternate result. So this is basically if you don't select anything from the slicer, what should the value be? So for me, let this be as sales. Okay. I'm going to close it at sales. Okay close the bracket and press enter. So once you have this measure created, let us quickly check how this one is working. So if I bring this here and let me put this on a card, you will see I have not selected anything from the slicer here. The default value here is sales as per what we have mentioned in the measure. And if I click on profit, this changes to profit. If I change, if I click on profit percentage, this changes to profit percentage. Okay. Now, how do we get the values here based on what we select? So this is where the switch statement comes in handy. Okay, so let's go back to this measure here. And now what we will do is we will define our value as a variable first. Okay, where selected underscore value is equals to this. So basically we are assigning whatever selection that we have here to this particular variable. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the next line here, type in return 
go to the next line here and then I'm going to use the switch statement over here switch okay it's asking me to enter the expression which is going to be the variable that we created over here which is nothing but selected value okay comma and then it's asking me to enter value this value is nothing but basically what we have over here for example the first value is sales okay I'm going to enter that in double quotes comma if it is sales then what should the result be in that case it is going to be my measure which is total sales sorry measure which is total sales now I have these measures created before itself so if you don't know how to create measure please do what tutorials on my channel which will help you create this measure for total sales okay I'm then gonna type in comma go to the next line here and then it's asking me to enter value 2 that's going to be profit now this values here need to be exactly same as to what we meant entered in the table while we created okay profit and then my result is going to be profit total profit measure that we have created comma and then my third one is profit percentage profit percentage comma and then this is going to be my margin margin field okay i'm going to close the bracket here and press enter so we are closing down on the switch statement so if you see here we've got 3.03 as our uh, sales value which is by default if i click on profit i have 379k now let's quickly delete this and create a copy of this particular table and get rid of all the other columns and add the value that we've created okay and you will see that our profit it's on we've now selected profit it is showing as 379,836 and if I click on profit percentage it will show us percentage and it will show us sales when I click on sales it is exactly matching with what we have over here however now we are dealing with numbers as well as percentage so let us change the way it functions or formats so let's go back to our value field over here so I'm going to click on this measure over here and go to my sales uh, field that I have and then I'm going to type in format open bracket and then I'm going to type in in, un, in within double quotes I'm going to type in dollar sign because that's what I want to use here and then I'm going to type in hash dot hash hash okay and then I'm going to close the bracket close the quotes close the bracket here type in comma and then I'm going to do the same thing here for profit as well for prof profit I'm going to uh, just format comma and then I'm going to simply copy paste the entire thing over here okay and now for percentage this is going to be a little different I'm going to type in format and then at the end here I'm going to type in comma open double quotes type in zero zero percentage close the quotes close the bracket and press enter and let us now click on profit percentage and see that we've got the values here in percentage and if, if you need decimals over here you can simply type in the number of decimals you want and then click on enter you will have the decimal value so now if you see if you click on profit it's now giving us the details in the uh, dollar sign and if you click on percentage that is changing to percentage now this is how you use the selected value combined with the switch statement to achieve something dynamic like this uh, in the bi i hope this video has helped you you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials